Let's dive in in Affinity Photo and create these adjustable topographic map patterns. We're going to start by adding a fill layer from the layer menu and keep the color of the fill layer to white. To generate the pattern, we're going to use the live procedural texture filter. Before selecting a procedural texture pattern preset, let's make sure the procedural texture is above the fill layer in the layer stack. Now that the procedural texture has a layer to work with, let's select the mono swirls preset. First, we need to set the square count to 1 and then adjust the width and offset until we get a pattern we like. This looks about right. Create lines from this pattern, we need some kind of a detect edges function. A non-destructive way to detect edges is using a Gaussian blur filter with a small radius. The radius size depends on your document dimension. For my document, a value of 0.2 pixels will work fine. When we now apply the Gaussian blur in difference blend mode, we get the topographic lines we are looking for. Now that we have the lines, it is a bit too crowded. But we can easily fix this by going back to the procedural texture filter and adjust the width. By the way, you can also move the canvas by dragging it to position the lines while the procedural texture dialog is still open. To make the lines stronger or brighter, I can add a curves adjustment and move the top right node to the left until it ends with the histogram. Our topographic map lines are ready. We can fine tune it by going to the procedural texture and reposition it or change the parameters if needed. Keep watching to see how we can further customize it and I'll also show you an alternative method which has gradient lines. So what we can do to make the map more interesting is adding a live liquify filter. We can pinch and punch various areas in the map to generate a bit more depth. When we're finished we can press done to exit from the liquify screen. Because of the liquify filter, you probably will get some grey lines because of the interpolation. But we can go to the curves adjustment and push the wind point even further, so we get a nice crisp map. Here is the before, without the liquify, here is the after. Pretty awesome. Now, let's take a look at another alternative way of creating these contour lines. The process is very similar. We start again by adding a white fill layer. On top of that, the procedural texture filter, but this time we'll use the ripples preset. And let's not forget to put the filter on top of the fill layer. I'll use 22 for the square count and move the turbulence slider all the way to the left. Because the output contains a wide array of grey variations, I'm going to add a posterize adjustment on top. For the posterize levels, I'll use 5. As we're working non-destructively, we can always come back and change these values if needed. Just like with the previous method, we're going to add a live Gaussian blur filter for the edge detection. When we set the blend mode of the blur to difference, we get the lines we're looking for. It is quite a bit faded, but just as before, we can fix this by applying a curves adjustment on top of it. The cool part of this method is that we can change the blend mode of the posterize adjustment to get gradual lines. For example, the darken, multiply or the screen blend mode. But we can also modify the posterize levels in the posterize adjustment to increase or decrease the lines in the map. As mentioned earlier, because we work non-destructively, we can go into the procedural texture filter and adjust it to our liking. Pretty cool. I hope you liked this video and thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before leaving. Until the next video.